Breaking Records Radio. What's popping? It's your boy Fred Joe Star. Let's turn it up. Hey yo, hey yo, it's your boy Monster Man Rocco. It's your boy Swagger Rock. This is Snack Ripper. And you have to go to those who don't know. Master A, you are not rocking with the best. Breaking records, man. Radio is like the place to be. I don't know. Fuck strange music, man. <laughs> <laughs> I want to fast forward a bit and talk about some of the current material that you're working on and one of the kind of many kind of new developments over the last say, five or maybe a little bit longer than that years though has been 100 Mad. Um, now I've heard a bit less about that collective as of late but can you explain the current situation about 100 Mad and what's happening with it as of now? Because I first started hearing about it in 100... maybe 2014 or so. Yeah. We're coming out with a 100 Mad album at the end of the year. Um, a real crazy album man you know everybody's working everybody's doing their own thing it's just a collective of real hip-hop and C's that uh you know share the same principle just real hip-hop you know what i'm saying so 100 mad is a there's so many people that shout 100 mad i don't even know who 100 mad is it's, it's over 100 people i'll tell you that much um yeah 100 mad is just you 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 could be down with 100 mad 100 mad is anybody that represents hip-hop man you know what i'm saying it's just that's just the umbrella but at the end of the day, it's just for real hip hop, man. You know what I'm saying? So, how do you go about crafting an album with such a large collective, and how do you get to like choose who is going to end up being on it? Um, you know, we just just find the right talent. You know what I'm saying? We just organically we meet we meet these people. You know what I'm saying? Organically we meet the the the, the, the talent and. We, we just have a agreement and we just get, get down to, get down to business. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Gotcha. At the tail end of last year, Onyx ended up putting out a, a new collaborative project with Snow Goons, um, obviously a frequent collaborator, a collaborator at this point. Um, I interviewed Snow Goons back in 2014, and it was shortly after you guys ended up putting up that uh, Wake the Fuck Up album uh, with them. And I loved that project then, and I, I love the new shit that you've been dropping with Snow Goons as well. Um, I'm curious, how yeah. has this album, Snow Mads, been different from working with Snow Goons in the past? Has it been different? Um, it, it wasn't. No, nothing's been different. We we have the same formula working with Snow Goons. They're in Europe. We in America. They send the tracks. We body them shit. And fucking DJ League who does the mixes. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, we have a great formula. They know how we want the records mixed. Everything is always straight business-wise. They know how to promote. We know how to do what we do. You know, um, even down to the performances and the live shows, we... Yeah, get down with DJ Legal. You know what I'm saying? DJ Legal is rocking with us, so it's like a a good combination as far as producers and rappers and you know fan bases. Like they they got their own fan base. We have our own thing, but but it's like the same fan base. You know what I'm saying? It kind of works, kind of works together. Yeah, I feel like there's been kind of a rejuvenation, in at least the Onyx brand, over the last 10 years or so since you've started working with Snow Goons. Um, how did you end up actually going and, and like reaching out and kind of knowing who the Snow Goons were? Because as you said, they're, they're from Germany, they're kind of a foreign production duo, um, and they've put in a lot of work over the last little while, but you guys were fairly early on as, as collaborators there, and the sound fits so well, but again, it's... I don't know, the, later they ended up doing an album with MOP and stuff as well, so it kind of makes sense going back and doing these albums with Legends, but you were you were, you were guys were pretty early on in that in that boat. Yeah, they did the, they did the uh, record with MOP before us, before they did the Onyx record. Kind of like, that's kind of like, I kind of heard them, I heard their beats with that, but I, I met them live at the show, so I kind of, you know what I'm saying, knew, knew who they were when I met them at the show. Gotcha. I imagine you plan on yeah. continuing to release new shit through Snow Goons as well. Um, and again, I, I think that that production kind of palette fits beautifully with the with the Onyx sound.